Well, welcome back to NRM 638, Python scripting for ArcGIS applications. Spring semester 2015. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Let's start editing our Python toolbox. And in this session, what we're going to do is actually execute the tool. So from last time, we defined our parameters. So here's our class defining our two parameters and those are returned as a list of parameters. So now what we're going to do is use that list of parameters in the execute class. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom we have our execute class. So let's uncomment that. And basically what happens is this class receives the list of parameters, which we defined up here. So now what we'll do is we'll put in our source code to actually execute. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll create a variable that will be our input feature class. And that's going to be equal to our first parameter in our list. So that will be parameters. So that's a list, so it's indexed. So the first item in the list will be zero. And then dot, take that value and return it as text to this input feature class variable. And then our second parameter was our buffer distance. So we'll name that buff dist. And that will be parameter one, which is the second parameter in our list. So basically, this list of parameters was created up here. So here's our first parameter. Here's our next parameter. And then return that as a list of parameters. So now we have a string representing our input feature class. We have a string representing our buffer distance. So then we could add some messages. So we'll add a message input feature class equals and then what's ever in this string variable and buffer distance equals and then what's ever in that string variable. And then we'll save our work. And then we'll check. So check this module so it checks out fine. So then let's test drive our script tool. So refresh. And then we'll run our tool buffer points. So we'll grab some point feature class and then give it some buffer distance. So I'll give it a thousand meters and then OK. So now we have our messages and our message is the input feature class. That variable contains this string. So it's the path to our caribou location points. And then our buffer distance contains this string, and it's just a string 1,000. So, so far, so good. So now we'll edit, and we'll actually execute the buffer tool. So I added two lines of code. We'll add a message, and the message will be buffering the name of our input feature class by, and then our buffer distance. And then the second line will actually use the buffer analysis tool take our input feature class, we'll output it, hard code it for now to C temp as test buffer, and let's put in a thousand, and then use the buffer distance. And then we'll save our work, and then exit, and then refresh our Python toolbox, and then let's check for any syntax errors. So there's no syntax errors. So then we'll test drive this tool, so once again, we'll grab some point feature class and we'll give it, in this case, 1,000 meter for distance and then OK. So then it says at the end, buffering. And in C temp, here's our test buffer, 1,000. And we could add that to our data frame. And then we'll also add our caribou points to our data frame. 
So there's our caribou points, and there are all the buffers that are a thousand meter buffers. Okay, so now let's edit our Python toolbox. And this time, instead of hardwiring our output, we'll name our output as a function of our input. So we modify our script, arcpy.describe input feature class dot base name plus the string buffer plus the string of buffer distance. And then the next thing we need to do is get what the actual path is. We would set a variable for path. And then we could save our work and then test drive this script tool. And I got an error message and the error message is input feature class not defined and it occurred at line 65. So I found that in my results. So then if I try running the tool, it also is in my message box here. So input feature class not defined and it occurred at line 65. So let's edit our, and then if we go to edit, go to, go to line 65. So here's line 65, and here's where it says that does not exist. Well, the reason it doesn't exist is up here, we name that variable with an underscore. So I'm gonna go to control C to copy, and control V to paste, and control V to paste. Okay, so now let's test drive our script. So save, and then refresh, and then we'll rerun our script in 500 meters. So this time buffer underscore distance is not defined and that's also at line 65. So we'll edit our script and I made a similar mistake. When I created this variable, it was named buff distance. So I have to be consistent. So once again, I'll control C to copy and control V to paste. And then we'll save and execute. So refresh. And then we'll execute this tool one more time. So then it buffers our caribou locations by 500 and automatically names the output to the same location as our caribou locations, but it will be called. So then if we go to this same location, so there is the automatically output buffer by 500 meters. So then we could add that to our table of contents. And so there's our layer of caribou locations and then our tool output automatically caribou locations buff 500. That's enough about executing tools in the Python toolbox. Our next video session will work on validation